Live from Fargo and serving you on TV, online, and on the go, this is Valley News Live at noon. We start with new information on a murder investigation in Minnesota. One man is facing charges in connection to the death of a once missing Aiken woman. Hi everyone and thank you for joining us. I'm Jordan Schreer. Officials say 34 year old Joshua Karjala has been charged with one count of second degree felony murder in the strangulation of Michelle Mary May, whose body was discovered in a crawl space below Karjala's home. May had been missing since October 3rd. Investigators were contacted by one of May's friends, giving them a screenshot of a text conversation between May and Karjala. After a thorough investigation, authorities determined that a sexual encounter between the two ended in violence. We'll have more on this story tonight on Valley News Live at 5. New at noon, the Fargo Police Department is warning the public about a high-risk sex offender moving into the area. 24-year-old Jelson Ryan has a multiple convictions and is a lifetime registrant. He was convicted for gross sexual imposition in 2017 and luring a minor by computer in 2018 by the McKinsey County District Court. Both victims were 14-year-old girls. Ryan will be living at 734 College Street North. High-risk offenders are considered the most likely to reoffend. Also new at noon, the U.S. Secretary of Agriculture has approved the disaster declaration in 47 North Dakota counties due to the early blizzard and unusually wet fall. This will allow assistance to be available for farmers and ranchers who have struggled with the impact the weather has had on their crops. Record fall rain, flooding, a blizzard in early October and the cold temps have delayed that harvest and hundreds of millions of dollars have already been lost. Minnesota Governor Tim Walz has also asked the Ag Department to declare a disaster declaration for multiple counties in the northwest part of the state experiencing much of the same tough conditions. Now we'll have more on how the weather has impacted one specific Minnesota farm family a little later in our newscast. Taking that live look outside right now, though, it's a cloudy, cool Friday out there. For what we can expect in the rest of our forecast, let's check in with meteorologist Justin Fanfarelli. And thank you, Jordan. And, uh, good afternoon, everybody. Temperatures are still cool for this time of year. Here's a look at what we are seeing right now in Fargo, making it up to 29 degrees, a little warmer out toward Jamestown, lower 30s. Into the Northern Valley and Devil's Lake Basin, temperatures near the 30 degree mark and mid to upper 20s into northwestern Minnesota. The winds have flipped around to more of a southerly or southeasterly direction and wind speeds are around 10 to 20 miles per hour and uh, that is giving us just a little bit of a wind chill but also pumping in warmer air mainly cloudy skies the story across most of the region and some snow showers are still around especially uh, between Monoman, the Faustin area, Crookston and Thief River Falls another batch of some snow showers around the Roseau and Bedette area and now making their way into uh, portions of our viewing area just off to the north of Devil's Lake via uh, and just around the Canadian border. So you could see a snow shower, especially if you're off to the north or in our northeastern counties. Otherwise, mainly cloudy skies with that light breeze from the south and temperatures reaching the mid-30s for the day today. Now, we do have a chance of some snow showers Saturday into Sunday morning and then cooler air on the way. We'll give you the full details and the full seven-day forecast. That's later in the newscast. All right. Thank you, Justin. Let's take a look now at this week's Valley's Most Wanted. Police say 33-year-old Buddy Saylor is wanted for a felony probation violation on a charge of unlawful entry into a motor vehicle. Call your local law enforcement if you have any information about him. Funerals for the American victims, some from North Dakota, murdered by a suspected drug cartel, are underway. But authorities are still scrambling to find those responsible for the horrific crime. Miguel Almaguer reports. Sandra just came and said my mom's suburban is blown up. During the chaos and carnage. Keep praying they still have five kids hiding in the bushes. Devin walked home. Only Devin came back. These were the frantic calls between family members on a messenger app as they desperately looked for loved ones. Nita and her four children are gone. They've been burned inside the vehicle. Now this morning on both sides of the border, unimaginable grief 
after the start of funeral services for nine Americans killed in Mexico. Laid to rest, Donna Langford buried alongside her boys, Trevor, 11, and Rogan, just two. Daughter Kylie survived after being shot in the foot, attending the funeral service with Sister Crystal. She loved the Lord with all her heart and it cast an amazing light on her life. Ronita Miller was also killed trying to protect her four children, Howard, 12, Crystal, 10, and eight-month-old twins, Titus and Tiana. The Millers were left to burn inside their SUV after police say a drug cartel sprayed the vehicle with so many bullets, the gas tank exploded. Nita and four of my grandchildren are burnt. 13-year-old Devin Langford, who lost his mother and two brothers, was among the group of children who escaped. Hiding his siblings in bushes, he walked 14 miles to find family. When he didn't quickly return, his 9-year-old sister Mackenzie walked four hours to get help. Worst thing I've seen, kids with bullet wounds. After baby Faith was found alive inside an SUV riddled with gunfire, her mother, Christina Lankford Johnson, will be buried this weekend. The funerals held under a heavy military presence. Police say cartels responsible for the murders control the roads here. <laughs> with three children still under the care of doctors, the youngest injured survivor is baby Brixton. You say hi to daddy? When he's released by doctors, he'll find his way back to his father, who yesterday buried his mother and two brothers. The tragedy in Mexico spanning generations in wounds that may never heal over time. With the funeral set to continue in Mexico Saturday, police there stand by their assertion the families were likely mistaken for rival cartels when they were fired upon. In our consumer alert this afternoon, one of the most anticipated Black Friday ads of the season has arrived. Target released its holiday ad this week featuring discounts on toys, electronics, kitchenware and more. The Minneapolis-based retailer also introduced Holla Deals, which will help people save on thousands of items throughout the season. The official Black Friday sales will be up for grabs online on Thanksgiving morning. The physical stores will open at 5 on Thanksgiving Day and stay open until 1 a.m. on Friday before reopening again at 7 a.m. For more details on Target deals and opening hours, head on over to our website, valleynewslive.com. And don't forget to join us for the Farmers Union Insurance Bison Football Pregame Show. That's tomorrow at 1.30. We'll be live at the Fargo Dome, taking you right up to kickoff at 2.30 on the KVLY Bison Football Network.